Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, well, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff, and stuff she does, nail stuff, with nail stuff, and stuff for nails. I hope everybody is doing really well. I'm going to start today's video with Alaska, which is a, <laughs> with Alaska, um, which is a gel perfection polish, as are all the polishes used in this video. And you can get them at diamondglitters.co.uk. And you can use code TEAMDG for a little discount, you lucky things. So I've done two coats of that, and I'm now taking black out. Um, and we're starting with zebra print. This is... Um, with animal print, you kind of want to pick out the most, uh, what's the word, like the most apparent factors to make people realise that it's not just a bunch of wiggly lines on a nail. So with zebras, they've got kind of Ys and Vs, that's what I'm calling them. So I'm using my brush, but I'm not um, doing the same amount of pressure for the line. I'm letting it... Um, pull along and then put a bit more pressure down so it's thicker in some parts and then thinner in other parts just for that kind of organic real zebra look uh is that what we achieve i don't know but lots of um v's and y's in wiggly not even sized thickness lines why am i trying to describe this so much you can see um and then and then in between them i'll do some other lines i think i got a bit carried away uh, it's easy for me to think, oh, I'll just fill that gap, gap in there and then there's another gap, so I'll fill that one in. So you can sort of leave it a bit more sparse than I did, but I then decided to go in and add some thinner lines. I'm not sure if it made it better, uh, but it made it made it like this. <laughs> um, and then we will cure that um, and that will go in the lamp. So yeah, just the... I started like with the big Y and then a V and then just little ones all around it and some random but don't don't let any of the lines be dead straight make sure they all have a bit of a wiggle in them um, and it helps a couple of these actually I kind of purposefully sort of tensely shook my hand like a small shaking of the hand but controlled um, to get a kind of wiggly look or did I just have the shakes I don't know I'm quite a shaky shaky person I'm sorry if you if you can hear any jangling it's uh, it's my ring. One of my rings has got a little charm on it. Uh, and I'm over here gesticulating like a Parisian mime. Why are they Parisian? I don't know. Uh, they originated in Greece, I think. They? Anyway, mimes. No, nails. So I, <laughs> I cured the black. Uh, and now I'm topping it with diamond glass. Of course, of course. And there's our little zebra. Zebra. How do you say it? Let me know how you say it. We say zebra over here. Um, but I know some places say zebra. Um, zebra is the correct way. I'm kidding. Zebra is the way I say it. Uh, so that's that one. And the next one we're starting with Alaska as well. This is another one with just um, black and white, blackout and Alaska. And this is cow print. So I know I'm just scribbling, as you can see, just mush mashing a patch on the nail. I know that cow print, um, some people do it in a more sort of cartoony, simplified way, like a kind of splat with all curved and soft edges. But I was looking at a picture of um, a cow print rug. Uh, I would, I think I quite like a cow print rug. Not a real one. Although, you know, it's probably already dead for the meat. So may as well not let it go to waste. <laughs> um, yes, and it was a, a brown one. I really like the brown looking ones. So they, they weren't sort of smooth splat looking patches. They were quite jaggedy um, around the edges. So just letting my brush sort of splatter uh, and press it and wiggle it a bit on the nail gives us a kind of organic, not uh, perfectly drawn look. And then it has lots of little patches. So I'm going to add some of those. Um, but yeah, most most cow print nails I've seen are the more sort of rounded um, splat shapes with some circles and things. But I wanted to go for the more um, cow print rug kind of vibe. Um, I hope I haven't offended anyone by saying I want a cow print rug. Not a real one, but I think it look, would look quite nice in like a lofty kind of, you know, exposed brick. Nails, right, nails. Uh, 
I'm adding some more dots and then a few times I've, I've cut this a bit because I went to put it in the lamp and then before I cured it I thought no nope, let's add another dot and another splodge here and then I joined some of them up to make bigger ones um, but yeah it's really easy with animal print I find to see a gap unlike my voiceovers uh, to see a gap and think I'll fill it with something but um, you sort of have to stop before you get too carried away. So that was cured and I'm topping that with diamond gloss as well. We do have a lovers and haters today, so stick around for that. Uh, that's our cow print. I, I got a bit carried away in the gaps. Should have left some of them a bit a bit more gappy, but didn't. Uh, the next one, oh, white again. Alaska again. Oh yes, this is tiger print. Uh, so I'm taking Alaska and tiger lily. I haven't, on I've only just realized tiger lily. Nah. Um, I haven't cured the Alaska and I'm just brushing over onto it a bit. I'm not trying to do a perfect ombre. I'm actually trying to avoid doing, you know, a, a, a nice blend. Um, so I'm just going over there. Because we're going to do black lines uh, and tigers have white on them as well. So this is kind of our hint of white. So I've got a little amount on my brush. This is the second coat. So I cured the first coat and then... Again, with not very much on my brush here, going over the tiger lily and then dry brushing. So I've taken as much product off my brush as possible and just dry brushing over the join and then over onto the Alaska um, and just giving it kind of, I kind of wanted it to be a bit streaky because we're going for ease, just easiness. Um, so you don't even have to do the white bit. You could just do the whole thing, orange or whatever colour you want. Uh, that was cured. And I'm now taking black out again. And the sort of apparent aspects. What's the word I'm looking for? There's a word. Anyway, of a tiger is the sort of Vs. So I'm starting with a V in the middle again. And I'm making sure that they're, again, the thickness of the line is sort of thick thin thick thin just all over the place um, but I don't want the V's to be all meeting perfectly in the middle I don't want them to all um, have the point in the same place on the nail so I'm doing them that one's a bit off center the one above it's a bit off center the other way and then I've added some V's coming in from the sides so it's very similar to the zebra print um, but we've got more of the V's as, and it's sort of coming from the same angle on each side as opposed to um, diagonally which is how we did it on the zebras uh, so adding the v's again and just like i say just pressing down and lifting up on the pressure again quite a wiggly hand quite a shaky um, hand for this uh, and there's a sideways v there i knew this was going to be hard to voice over when i was doing it because I don't really know how to describe. I messed up that bit there, but we're going to leave it in because uh, I, I wasn't flash curing. So I thought I'm not going to start wiping stuff off and start it yet. Uh, so that will, I think, be it. Don't need to add anything else here, I don't believe. Um, and I think that does kind of look like a tiger print because I thought I was worried that this and the zebra one would be the same, but they are different. This one's sort of a horizontal um pattern and the, the zebra is really diagonal uh, so I filled it I made some of the points of the v's a bit thicker just to fill in gaps and cured and now I'm topping that with diamond gloss and there was a great big piece of fluff uh, I couldn't get it out so I just cured that shit in there um, <laughs> and then popped that in the lamp and there is our tiger Shere Khan uh, or Tigger depending on what kind of mood you're in um, and, oh yeah, everything goes a little bit, the focus isn't that great in this video, so my sincerest apologies for that. Uh, I'm now taking cream satin, and we're going to do giraffe print with this one. I want to, I mean, I know some people do giraffe as a really yellow background, but I looked at some pictures of giraffes and they were more creamy. Uh, so I've done two coats of that, and then I'm taking iced mocha, and I've sped this whole bit up only by 50% otherwise we'd be here all week um, and I'm doing boxy shapes uh, so that's the main what is the word I'm looking for attribute possibly I think maybe it's that um, is kind of boxy boxy shapes no round edges although that bottom 
right of that kind of boot looking thing is a bit rounded uh, and then I tried to make sure that the gaps between each one were quite similar because I noticed they were in the picture of the giraffe I was looking at anyway um, <laughs> I'm but I'm sure other giraffes are a bit different uh, so making sure that the gap is the same thickness uh, between the shapes and I'm just going to keep at it like that uh, it was quite easy to end up doing just the same shape over and over so I had to kind of you know consciously make sure that I wasn't just doing um, triangles or squares or something so make sure that you do mix it up and that none of them are the same shape so while we're doing that um, oh this is iced mocha by the way this color uh, while we're doing that, shall we have an episode of <laughs> of lovers and haters? Let's lovers and haters, lovers and haters, ba -ba 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 -ba. lovers and haters. Uh, our first lover of the day is J L Nails and Therapies. She says, "So looking forward to using all your techniques on my clients. You've helped me with techniques I've always struggled, and you're teaching me so many new ones. And you make my day every time I watch you. Thank you so much. That's so nice. And I, I, I like that amongst my verbal diarrhea, there are some teachable moments. <laughs> um, so that was our first lover, our hater of the day. Oh, I'll do another another lover." Um, in a bit. Um, our hater was a woman of very few words um, and I can't remember which video it was on but she said <laughs> trash! <laughs> Just trash! Um, had enough time to uh, leave a negative comment on someone's YouTube video but not enough time to form a complete sentence. Um, but yeah I can't remember I can't remember <laughs> what video it was on. Uh, but I did reply naturally but we'll never know what um, what she truly meant because she's been blocked, so she can't comment anymore. So, later, hater! Uh, we will have another lover um, in a wee bit. So I'm just finishing up with these shapes here. Um, and then, so you could very easily stop at this point. Or if you didn't want to spend, this does seem to have been going on for some time, probably should have cut and just jumped to the last one, but here we are. Um, if you don't want to spend too long doing this, do your shapes bigger um, and then you'll have less to do. I should have done that, but I did not. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, so you could stop here um, and I cure this and then I decided to try and be fancy about it. Um, so I mixed some iced mocha with Alaska, um, which is the white. Um, and then I just took my brush and did some little little patches all to the same side, um, to the right side of each of them. I don't know if I like this, whether it was a good idea or not, but, um, oh look, I jumped to the end there. That's what I should have done earlier. Um, but I did that on there just if you wanted to take it up a notch and I don't know, make the client think that you're being all fancy pants, uh, but it's not necessary. <laughs> Uh, so that was cured and I'm topping that with diamond gloss as well. Every, I topped everything with diamond gloss. Some would look really nice matte, but I was in a shiny mood. So there's our little giraffe. But I didn't, you know, I didn't spend time blending out those um, lighter bits. As you can see, I just chucked some strokes on there and uh, good to go. And because it used the, the because it used the colour that was on the shapes to start with, the, you know, it wasn't too much of a harsh, harsh line on there. So I'm now taking Spiced Amber. How nice is this colour? This is an underrated colour. I need to start using this more. Um, I've cured that. I've done two coats. And I'm now taking Pumpkin Pie. And we're just doing some splodges. Not perfect circles. Drunk baby with a paintbrush circles. That drunk baby who did those flowers that one time. Yeah, he's back. It's a he. Um, <laughs> so we're doing some random splodges. But making sure they're not... Um, perfect circles because this is our um, leopard print one and you can as I say you can do leopard print you can do any of these in any colors um, I did a rainbow ombre multicolor leopard print set before um, I'll put a link to it in the video actually and I've also got another video I'll put a link to um, I'll tell you when we get there so I've cured the pumpkin spice patches the pumpkin patches oh um, and now I'm taking black out and I'm doing this wiggly thing with my hand again. So like tense your fist and then like let it shake like that. Like a, I'm doing it now, <laughs> like a controlled, firm 
jiggle. You don't have to do that, but that's what I was that's what I was doing just to get a kind of um, not like an imperfect line. Uh, and you don't want these lines to be, you know, a perfectly straight C, C shape around the splodges. You want them to be a bit wiggly and splodgy. So that's what we're going for. We're going to do some have just two bits around them. Some are joined up more than others are. Some have broken up bits of black um, and that will go around all of them. And the one on the top, well, on the right there, um, you can see at the bottom, I kind of splodge too much, but that doesn't matter because it's a natural thing so um, it's not going to be perfect uh, which is quite a nice thing about animal prints um, it's not you know if that line's not exactly there then it's going to look wrong like this if you put your black bit um, at the top instead of on the side it doesn't matter um, so I'm going to wiggle around those and then um, cure that and I oh I really like these colors together to the point where I'm thinking should I wear some nail art maybe I don't know but then I have a different mood every day or not no, it's not so much a mood different mood every day but I might not be in the mood for leopard print one day and I don't want that to sort of um, display who I am for the day although you know what other people think of it art is subjective I suppose um, Apart from, um, oh, what I'm doing here, um, I've cured the black and then thought, let's fill in the gaps. So I'm just doing some black splodges, not perfect circles, some more V-shaped, some pointy, some blobby, and then we'll cure that. And then we'll top that with diamond gloss as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I used to wear nail art all the time, and I know a lot of you say I should do some nail art, and I will do some on myself at some point. But, but yeah, nail art is subjective, especially when I feel in a different kind of, I'll, I'll look at art differently every day. Um, but like Tracy Emin's bed, in my opinion, not art. I mean, bar the used tampon, it was basically every teenage girl's bedroom. Uh, she probably just chilled in bed for a week and thought, hmm, let's get the on some wheels and roll it down to the gallery. Uh, but then somebody else might look at it and think, oh, it totally symbolises the struggle and plight of... 18th century African armadillos, you know? No, it's just rubbish. Tidy up, you messy bitch. So someone might like it, someone might not. Where was I going? I don't know how we got on this path. There's a leopard print nail. I hope you like it. <laughs> this is rambly. I'm now taking yellow glass, um, which there's a few glass gel polishes with um, in Gel Perfection now. I've got them all, um, and they're really good for this sort of thing. I've mixed in a bit of saffron, um, to darken it up a bit, to make it a bit more orange. And I'm going to do one coat of that and cure it. And then I'm going to take just the saffron as is. Um, oh no, I'm not, what am I doing? Oh, the first base, yes. So I'm putting this down, it's a base coat. Um, and I'm only doing a really thin layer because I'm going to use it as a sort of blooming gel. Because um, if you put gel on wet gel, it does start to spread. Uh, but I don't want it to spread like crazy. Um, so I'm doing a thin coat of that and then I'm taking saffron and just doing some big messy blobs. A lot of blobs in this video um, on there. And that, that's it. I have got a video doing a full set based around this tortoise shell. Um, so I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, it's not just, you know, five tortoise shell nails. There is some kind of design thing going on. Uh, so I'll pop a link in the description um, and this and now I'm I'm taking my brush and I haven't got anything on it here I'm just kind of easing just encouraging the edges to sort of bloom a little bit more um, and as you can see it's kind of messy looking um, but that's fine uh, so I've cured that and now I'm doing another very thin coat of the glass mix or is it just the yellow glass no it's the mix um, with the bit of saffron in it um, and I haven't cured it and I'm going to use that again as a kind of blooming to give a blooming effect for the black uh, so this is black out and I'm not going bang smack in the middle of the saffron blobs I'm going just sort of offset um, to them so they overlap it a smidge and then I'll do the same just kind of ease them out uh, to bloom a little bit um, I mean you could use a blooming gel but I think it might bloom too much 
and it'll spread and just yeah I think this way is probably best so I'm where they have spread I'm just taking a bit more black out and darkening the centers where they have spread um, and kind of thinned out uh, so we'll do that and then we'll pop that into the lamp and then or do I before I do that I think I might add some more um, little black patches just between everything oh no I am curing it oh no I don't think I did cure that well you don't have to you can either cure and then do this step um, and then cure these black or do them before um, curing this is kind of a, a an afterthought uh, so then I will cure these black ones and then I'll do a very thin coat of the yellow glass I think just I can't remember if it's by itself or the mix but either would be fine at this point um, it's going to um, just kind of mute everything and kind of blur it a little bit so we'll cure that and then I took rose copper leaf which is also from diamond glitters um, and I thought you know I see tortoises turtle tortoise is a tortoise Tur a turtles and tortoise a tortoise um, I see tortoises with bits of gold leaf in their shell all the time so you know uh, I'm using just the tacky layer from the cured um, yellow glass and that will just stick to it nicely and then we can go straight over and I top it with super gloss just to make sure that um, there's no bumps or unevenness just because we've got sort of patchy layers and, and the gold um, leaf here the rose copper leaf this is another design that you could do sort of a variation of colors with um, I know obviously you get different colors of tortoise shell but these are this is what my sunglass um, arms look like this kind of tortoise shell and this is the one I the sort of color I like the most um, translated into a nail design uh, but some people do them a lot more yellow or I suppose you could kind of do a greeny type one but I like this kind of sunglass tortoise shell you know glasses frames that are like this so I'm going to top this with super gloss the rubber top coat which is also no wipe so while I'm doing that, shall we have another lover? Let's have another lover. We had a message from Jennifer Ilgaz, Ilgar maybe. It says, yay, here early for Miss Jo, everyone's favourite aunt. <laughs> and I love that. Aunt is about the, you know, level of responsibility I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Anything above that, I'll take a pass. I don't want to look after them all day. You know, let's have fun, mess around, play games and stuff, and then go away, leave me alone, I'm watching a documentary about dismembered prostitutes <laughs> it's not funny though um so that is our tortoise shell one um and now we are taking parakeet another color that is just so good and doesn't get used enough um and we're going to do two coats of that and then another coat of the first base the base coat and don't cure it i'm glad i put that there because i'd forgotten uh, and then we're going to use this again as a kind of blooming effect. So I'm taking Christmas Grinch. I'm not very pleased with this nail. It, it's not the best. Um, but I thought I should try and do a snake print one. Um, but, I mean, my best advice for snake print nails, get a foil. Done. Uh, but this is kind of a really simple snake print. Obviously, um, the foils you get have got a lot more detail in. So uh, I've just done some laid some blobs again blobs uh, laid some onto down the center and then I'm putting some down the side I did want to do them um, in between each of the center blobs on the, si uh, the side ones but there was too big a gap between them um, so I just did um, just a bunch and then I put some on the side there I don't know why shouldn't have really didn't fit any on the other side um, but that middle one I maybe should have done a bit longer as well so there wasn't such a gap down the center but I left it for not too long because it did start to bloom quite quickly and I didn't want them to merge into one um, so I let them bloom for a smidge and then cured that and topped it with diamond gloss and there you go um, kind of snake print also kind of looks a bit tortoisey as well like you know your classic green cartoon tortoise um, but make of that what you will that was so quick um, and very easy I'm now taking butterscotch and we're going to do a uh, what are we going to do oh a kind of 
it's not a leopard print. I'm thinking it's a cheetah print. It was just another take on kind of leopard prints because I looked at leopards, jaguars and cheetahs. I mean, they all look the f***ing same. I can't tell them apart. Not that if one was running towards me, I'd be like, oh, which one is it? <laughs> um, but I thought I'd do another one like this. And I, I in my head, this is more cheatery than leopardy. Uh, so they just have the, they don't have like a colour inside the dot. So inside the kind of little circly thing. So I've done some full circles. Again, not perfect circles. Um, and then some of them blob together, but that was fine. Uh, and then I'm doing some little dashes and splodges. Uh, but I think the main thing was to get some hollow circles, hollow full circles on there. Um, and again, another super quick and easy design and another one where I kept getting carried away and adding bits in gaps. Um, if I was <laughs> if I was to uh, have designed animals, if I was God... <laughs> then I would have got so carried away with filling in gaps that all animals would have just been black. Maybe I should do a, a, a black Labrador nail. Just black. Done. Black Labrador print. Um, I did ask someone for some... I was like, what other animals have prints? I need some animals. And they were like, elephant? Fucking elephant? So grey, if you want to do an elephant nail. Uh, so that's that one. Just some circles and dashes and dots um, and that gives a kind of I think it does look different I think I show you next to it I've cured the black and then topped with diamond gloss as well and that's it next to the leopard do they look like different animals I mean obviously the colors are different but you know I'd be running from either so that is all of them I hope you like them I have a TikTok now um, so you can follow me on TikTok, Miss Joe's Nail Co. And on Instagram, Miss Joe's Nail Co. And if you like this video, you can subscribe on here. Yay, that'd be great. Um, and if you do like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. I appreciate you being here so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye.